Okay, in this speed question, at 8 a.m., car A traveled from Newton House towards Orchard Gardens at a uni uniform speed of 60 km per hour. So normally when we see speed question, we want to draw a distant timeline. And when remember, you only draw one so that all the information goes into the same distance time uh, line. Yeah? And I always like to do this DST to remind me of the formula for speed. Okay, so at 8 a.m., car A, I will draw facing there since it's moving to OG at 68 km per hour. Yeah, and then next, 15 minutes later, car B traveled from OG towards Newton House. So I draw B pointing towards the left and I write here 15 minutes later at 40 km per hour. And my habits of doing speed question will be to condense everything into the distance timeline. So that's only for me to refer back to the question again. Okay. So how far had car A traveled when car B left OG? So for part A, it's very straightforward. It's, uh, to find distance is S times T. So it's 60 times 15 over 60, which gives you one quarter and that's 15 km, okay? So now, the tricky part will be in parts B because it takes some understanding. The distance between Newton House and OG was 35 km. So from here to here is 35 km. At what time would car A and B meet each other? So meaning that we need to start off from this point because um, it's actually um, the points where A, car A, has already traveled 15 km. All right, so which means that we need to start to come from here to here. So the remaining distance will be 35 km um, minus all 15 km, which is 20 km. So there'll be this point that car A has already uh, come here. So meaning that at every single po point in time, um, car A is always moving from here to here and car B is moving from here to here. So let's imagine like uh, this, which is we can imagine car A and B um, traveling together and they are traveling at 60 plus 40 km per hour, which is 100 km per hour. And they are traveling together to cover this remaining distance. Yeah. So this is how we can visualize and add 60 to 40. Okay. So, so meaning that we can take, um, so it also means that the total speed of a 100 km per hour vehicle, which is 60 plus 40 to cover 20 km, to cover the remaining 20, uh, 20, 20 km. So time will be distance divided by speed, which is 20 divided by 100, which is one quarter hour, which gives you 12 minutes needs. So not forgetting that you don't count 12 minutes needs from 8 a.m. because this is already 8.15. 8.15 plus another 12 minutes to give you 8 to 7 a.m.